guys, it's Chris Davis here from Davis Tent. I wanted to share a video of Taylor on his third season hunt setting up a brand new 14 by 20 Elk Plus package tent. This is um, also has the option to have a rain fly and an awning on it. So just a couple tips and tricks I wanted to go over today. First thing we do is lay out all of our angles, get our rafters and ridges into place. What I like to do is build one side of my roof line and then do the other. So I make a big rectangle and you can see they're doing that on the left side of this frame. And after they get that built, you will stand it up and put your rafters into place on the other side. So at this point, something you guys should be aware of and be paying attention of is that four-way angle with the bolt on it. That goes right above your door. That bolt needs to be to the inside of the frame, just like this picture. If you have it turned around the other way, it makes your tent five inches too short. Now this is a brand new wall tent, so you're going to see them kick out the brand new removable screen door and the ropes. They will attach those later. They made sure their door was facing the right way, and they are stretching the canvas over the frame now. Since this has the rain fly with awning, you want to stretch that canvas over the four-way angles down at the sides for your eave sleeves. It's also a good time to tie up your stove jack flap. Make, make sure that's good and tight so you don't have any accidents. Now after they got that canvas stretched over the eave sleeves, they continued to build the frame out in front to support the awning. And now they're doing it perfectly. You're going to put legs on one side of your tent, raise it up in the air, then you'll go to the other side and stand up the rest of the tent. At that point, probably one of the biggest tricks I could tell you is to go back inside the tent, pull your legs so they're really canted inwards. You can pull them in a foot, foot and a half, go back outside, zip that door shut so it's moving up and down freely, stake everything off, rope everything off, and then all you have to do is go back inside your tent and kick those legs back into where they need to be. Hope this helps you guys out there. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us. Thank you.